A University of Queen, Queensland experiment came up with a subunit vaccine using a molecularly clamped antigenic spike protein from uh, to to get rid of SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. Okay. Um, there are a dozen things this means. You're going to have to just research it. Anyway, they don't have a, a lot of the experimental vaccines or, or experimental whatevers do not have a name. They don't give them a name like, you know, quack and hack, something. Can't look it up. So I had to dig through it. But anyway, protein subunit versus uh, subunit vaccines. This has a dozen different meanings, and uh, the medical paper on it might be, I can't find the damn thing. If you, can, if you know the exact link, please post it below. But anyway, a description of it, but not the actual article, why don't, says the following. <clears throat> you take a bunny. And you shave it. No, uh, you start off with what is it that the virus attacks? Okay. Well, whatever it's attacking, the spike protein, it has a reciprocal or, or carbon copy or mirror image of it, let's say, over here. And it bonds to it so it can get into the cell okay. using spike protein, something like that, right? Anyway, whatever it is it's attacking inside of your lungs has this pattern, let's say. So instead of giving it a lung to attack, we create something with another pattern on the back end of the same thing. Now turning this loose inside of you won't do anything. It can't bind anything. It needs to be the other shape to bind to something. And on the back end, you have something that's a copy of a virus or a disease that our immune system already knows how to attack immediately. Turning this thing you've created loose in the bloodstream or, in, or spraying into the lungs or whatever, I, again, I can't find the actual paper, would cause this end to attract the virus. Clump. The virus would then try to take this apart and bust into a cell when it's not there. Meanwhile, your immune system sees this thing and says, I know what that is. That's cooties. And it would attack it. Yes, I'm being deliberately silly. Again, I need the actual paper. So what does this actually do? It tricks your immune system into attacking the virus it's currently ignoring by by putting lipstick on it like it's a hog, and it gets attacked by something that thinks it's a hog with lipstick. I really don't have any analogies. I've run out of them. Put your best analogy below. Hoop skirt. Short skirt. kilt. Anyway, it dresses up the virus in something that the body will attack, but only at the moment where it can glom onto it by tricking the virus into grabbing that. Since the virus on the outside is only supposed to have those little blobs of proteins, the corona, uh, for attaching at certain points, when it doesn't find a cell, it will continue trying to glom on and get covered with it, which also will inhibit its ability to attack a cell. And your immune system can attack it. That's the idea is it creates that. Or Another, this is one of many methods that was mentioned. This is the second, or the first most common. The second one, that that one I just explained to you is the one that's being explained, but again, I can't find the actual paper. The other method, the most common one used, that's used experimentally and actually successfully in some cases, is to infect a very easily well-known virus with a copy of the coding, C-O-D-I-N-G, coding, not coating, coating it with a coding of the thing that the virus we're trying to kill attacks, but it's the reverse copy of it. So it trains your immune system to attack anything that has the same coding. Again, it creates an immunity, sort of. Um, this is based on the idea that we can gain an immunity to it, or more accurately, it's based on tricking the immune system into having an immunity anyway, even if we can't gain an immunity to coronavirus. If this is done and it works, we have to do human trials, it would result in maybe some people having an immunity to it. I don't have the paper itself to, again, it doesn't name what it is, and all the news news sources refuse to do so. Now, I'm sure by the time you're watching this video, you'll be able to type in molecular clamp, antigenic, subunit vaccine, 
Spike Protein, and University of Queensland and find something better than this really lame-ass video. This is an RFI RFC, request for information or request for comment containing that information. Get, throw me a bone. I need a hint here because I need to evaluate this because it might be very useful. We now have two methodologies. Now, this isn't really, depending on how it's implemented, not really an, a vaccine. It would be something, instead of being a vaccine which only works before you get sick, this might work after you get sick and might be even more useful. This might be a good treatment. Now, it would be used in people presumably, who are very sick to see if they can improve their condition. And also people who are getting sick to, so they won't get worse. But the first persons who are going to say, hey, I, you know, stab me in the arm and give me a copy of this, are going to be people working in a hospital who do not want to get sick from this. If you can make the entire staff immune from this crap, we're golden. Because then they won't have any downtime and we won't have to worry about losing our people who are trying to treat this. And obviously then we can use it on ourselves. I think the guinea pig population is going to end up being medical workers. In fact, I think that's the ones who've been volunteering. Anyway, uh, all hail uh, uh, killer koalas and uh, 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 vampire kangaroos. Go Australia. I, I have no clue. I, I've given up looking. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.